You asked for it. So here it is, scaling part two. I've already covered an introduction to scaling in a previous video, which I'll leave a link to. So today I'm gonna focus a bit more on the process in detail so that hopefully you can follow along. Just a heads up, if you're planning to use the same approach as me, you will need a subscription to Adobe After Effects as well as a plugin for Blender called AE2Blend so that we can copy data from After Effects into Blender using the clipboard. The approach involves shooting a video, tracking the video so that we can solve for a 3D camera, scaling the tracked camera, exporting an FBX file, which is just a file format for 3D data, importing the move into Flare, and running it on your motion control robot. Funny enough, this is the technique and the approach that was actually used in part one of scaling, and it's what we're gonna be focusing on today. The move can be scaled either in your 3D software of choice or inside of Flare, since Flare has all the tools that you need to do this natively. Not only that, but you can also import 3D models into Flare or spawn some primitive shapes so that you can see how things are lining up in frame. This means that you can get started quicker without having to learn any additional software. I've personally accumulated some experience in Blender over the years, so I'm pretty familiar and I like some of the additional tools that are included which help me to align things and take measurements. The first thing that you'll need is a video that's gonna be our background plate. I use the Osmo Pocket 3 to film the intro, but any camera will work. Just try to be as smooth as possible if you're working with the Cinebot Mini so that you don't create any rapid accelerations in between frames. Okay, now let's open up After Effects so we can track the background plate. You're gonna take your background plate and you're gonna solve the camera. Once you solve the camera, you get all these little tracker points and you're gonna find uh, three or you can take an average of them by clicking and dragging and create a plane by right clicking, set ground plane and origin, that's a very important step. Uh, and then you can create a solid and a camera. So now we have a solid that's tracked to our surface. At this point, we basically want to copy the keyframes of the camera using the AE2Blend plugin. There's plenty of tutorials on how to do all of this, but we're gonna create the camera and delete this, and we're gonna create the plane by dragging these four, copy, and create plane, um, and then grab our camera so we can see it, scale it up, and we'll set the background image to be the movie clip, which is our video. And at this point, it should be pretty close, but it's not gonna line up perfectly because we need to also change the focal length. So come into After Effects, hit Control Shift Y on the camera tracker. We'll copy this focal length, paste it into our focal length here. And now everything lines up nice and perfect. Now, if you'll notice, the ground plane isn't where the ground is in the real world, but that was intentional because I wanted it to look like I was defying gravity by standing on the face of the warehouse. So rather than solving the camera normally and then trying to orient the camera after the fact, I just went ahead and set the ground plane where I wanted and let After Effects do all the work. Here's the fun part. Here's where the scaling comes into effect. Now you could scale in Flare natively. That exists and it's very handy, but I personally like to do this in Blender for one reason. So if I create um, an empty and I'm gonna make a cube and we'll just call this scale, then I can grab the plane transform and the camera transform and then the scale last. Control P, set the parent to the scale. So now as I scale this up and down, you'll see that it doesn't really appear to have any effect on anything except for the grid in the background and that's what we want. So now if I create a mesh that's gonna represent my height, so a cylinder and we'll set the height to be five feet, 10 inches and I'll go to the front view here and line it up with the ground. Then if we come back into our camera and I grab the scale and I scale down, you'll notice that everything except for the cylinder changes in scale. And we get to the point where my height feels roughly what I want it to feel like. And as we scrub through the footage, you'll see that uh, you know, maybe we need to scale down a little bit more so that I appear bigger and somewhere in there feels pretty good, right? 
So now that we have the scale roughly where we want it, we need to take some measurements. And Blender makes this pretty easy. So I go to the end, I'm gonna grab the measure tool. We want the camera's height at the end. And then we go back to the beginning. We want the camera's height at the beginning. And we want the distance traveled. So I'll make another keyframe or another measurement from here to here. And you just wanna make sure that you can achieve this move with the rig that you're trying to run it on. Lastly, we just export the FBX of the camera move and we can head on over into Flare. Inside Flare, I start by engaging the robot and piloting the camera to roughly where I think the first frame will be. And I also make sure that the camera is at the correct height. Once it's there, I'll just go to move import and I'll check these two boxes so that the move automatically translates and rotates to the camera's current position. Then I'll just select the FBX move file in my browser and click import. Once the move's imported, I'll make some manual keyframes for the track axis so that the arm can actually reach the camera positions throughout the entire timeline. And I'll also add some keyframes for focus. And that's pretty much it. If you guys are stuck or you still need some help, uh, feel free to leave a comment down below or reach out to me directly on Instagram. Thanks again for tuning into MRMC Academy. I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.